My name is Suzanne Lloyd and I am Harold Lloyd's granddaughter and I'm here at the Dublin Film Festival sponsored by Jameson to show Safety Last, my grandfather's 1923 comedy uh, on its 90th anniversary. In 1923, when, right after he finished Safety Last and he was on to his producing his own film called Girl Shy, he spoke to the LA Times all about 3D and he said, I've got to tell you, Talkies are here, that we've got the technology. Colors here, fine. You know, that's all going along. There's nothing new. He said the biggest changing event in film and in all of film will be when it turns to 3D. And they said, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, films will become in 3D because they did have the keystones and the little holders with the photography. And he was fascinated by it then, but he said, and he made this as a statement, and he said, this will come, and that will be a new birth of the motion picture business. I got my man. Great surprise and it was the Muppets Most Wanted, very funny, really enjoyed it and great selection for, the, for a surprise movie. Fantastic, it was uh, the Muppets Most Wanted and it was just fantastic, great, I loved it. It was the new Muppets movie, uh, it was brilliant, brilliant all together, I didn't, uh, uh, didn't even know it was set in Ireland so that was a good surprise as well. Uh, I was thrilled like when I saw Kermit the Frog appearing, like yeah perfect and uh, my first Jada bit of surprise bit of was a success anyway. I mean, I've been going to this just as, as a puncher since I've been so really young, so it's a complete honour. I love going to it. I remember going to see so many films over the years myself, so it's brilliant to be here. It's really amazing. Uh, I am a theatre set designer. Um, I'm very excited about my wedding. I make dioramas and things like that. I'm that prepared. Amy is really terrified that I think I'm way too obsessed with the wedding. She wants me to go on a stag, and that's where it all starts to go wrong. Uh, I, I've known Pete and John for years and years, and they just rang me and said, would I do this? Um, then I met. The, I hadn't know. You were about the only person I didn't know. We're boyfriends in the thing, and you were. I would say the only person I didn't know in the. So cast. weirdly, we had a connection in the years we, ago. We played the same part. We played the same part. Yeah. In in. Uh, Angela's ashes. Yeah. I was the voice of Angela's ashes, and he was Frank, Frank. Gord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so, but weirdly, we'd never met. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was cool. I think it's really really important. I think the 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 tradition of storytelling in. In, in Ireland is as strong as ever, you know, we've got great directors, great actors and great writers. So um, uh, it's great that a film like The Stag is, close, is closing it because, um, you know, you have Calvary op opening, which is a, it's a completely different in tone, but no less, um, no less significant in Irish, in Irish film. And, um, but what we're so happy about uh, with The Stag is that we wanted it to be a film that, that Irish audiences go to see as well, that they feel like it's something that's, um, you know, a real confident uh, film about modern Ireland and modern Irish males. Sure, so sure. yeah, we're delighted about it. It's a huge honour for a Dubliner. You know, uh, Peter's a Dubliner as well. And, uh, you know, I've grown up coming to this cinema and uh, I used to spend all my money going to the festival to see four and five films a day. And uh, and then to get to this uh, stage is just hugely gratifying, you know. I'm definitely kind of uh, quite emotional about it, you know, 800 people. and. All dubs. I'm also terrified. I mean, I'm absolutely scarified, but it's brilliant. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's an Irish story. It's about Irish people, characters, um, modern Irish men, and um, it's it's more satisfying being here and more nerve wracking than anywhere else. You know, uh, and we just we're really hoping that people will will like it.